Welcome back to the UTEP Dynasty. Now, the last episode, we became the number one team by beating Ohio State, and now we go into South Bend to take on number two, Notre Dame. All right, here we are, our second big game of the season. Let's see if we can hold on to that number one rank for the entire year, or are we gonna fall? This will be the first time that we could go undefeated since we started. So let's hope we can do that. And the quarterback's gonna take off and truck off play. Oh my gosh. And Rice is gonna get the sack. What a play. Oh, they got a first down on that. Oh my gosh, Clay just got burned. And somehow he catches the ball for a touchdown. Oh my god. This is insane. There we go, Robertson. Tackle him in the backfield. And they just get a free first down for 21 yards. Come on, Robertson. And you lift. It's going to be 14 to nothing already. There we go. Get it out to Lambert. Makes a great grab. And he gets hit, fumbles it. It's going to be fourth down. Oh, dude. Apparently, we're just not good. And at the end of the first quarter, your Utah Miners are down 14 to 0. Kick is up, and it is good. There goes Sean Hill, finally. Oh, nobody could bring him down except he lost yards because of that. Even though I didn't tell him to do that, I'd rather him go down. And we give it to Sanders. Do we get floated over the top? Hayford's Harfor got it. It's going to be a touchdown. What a throw by Francis to Hayford. He was wide open and he put it right on the dot. And Kirby gets the sack. It's going to be third and 19. And it's... Oh, they get a first down. Uh, it did not look like a first down to me. And Kirby gets another sack. That's three plus sacks on the game. It's going to be fourth and 13. There we go, defense. Oh, Sean Hill tripped up. It's going to be third and three. Get out to Lambert, who picks up the first. And there goes Sean Hill with a missed tackle. The fastest man in college football will score a touchdown. 60 yard run, and now we're only down four. Chuck it down to the end zone for Hayford, who makes the catch. What a catch by Hayford. We are going to take the lead with 36 seconds left in the half. And at halftime, your UTEP Miners are now up 21 17. On 4th and 15, we chuck it down to Hayford, who has become one of the best wide receiver options for Francis as we get the first down. 4th and 2, we give it right back to Sean Hill, who is going to pick it up. And Sean Hill is going to take it into the end zone as we expand our lead. Oh, what a play by Ross to sack him in the back. And they are not quitting because we cannot tackle. There we go. We get another sack for Jones. And Jones with another sack. It's going to be fourth and 27. And there goes Sean Hill with the speed. Breaks off a tackle. Gets a 26-yard rush. And at the end of the third quarter, your UTEP Miners are up 28-17. Let's finish this one off. And Francis fumbles it. Oh, man. Oh, what a hit. It's a read option, and Vincent can't make the tackle, and they're going to score their first touchdown since the first quarter. And they get the two-point conversion to make it a three-point game. Yep, there goes Sean Hill. Put this game on ice. And we sack him 
but we don't, but we do get the game clinching interception. And Vincent's gonna keep going. He's gonna keep returning. Is he gonna make a pick six? Oh, he's gonna get the pick six, but I do think there's gonna be a which just makes sense because there's nobody around, but hey, game clinching interception. That's all that matters. And with that, your UTEP miners get the victory. 28 25 what a good game we continue our good season by beating ohio state and now notre dame and we should stay number one here we go we gotta go to ann arbor the big house to face number two michigan our schedule does not stop being easy so in the next episode we will be playing number two michigan and let's hope we can get the win with that being said, that's all I got for this episode, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.